super special snack. We're gonna be making caramel apple nachos. How delicious does that sound? So I'm gonna be telling you the items you'll need, the instructions, and how to make this delicious treat with a video tutorial, of course. So hang tight, cause here we go. So first you're gonna need apples. So I just got these apples. You're gonna obviously want to wash them and dry them and then have an adult slice them up for you in little slices. You're going to need a container, any kind of container. This is the one I'm gonna be using because this is a serving for one, me. But if you're gonna be making it for a lot of other people, you can use a bigger tray or anything else. I'm gonna be needing white chocolate. This is the white chocolate I found at the store um, to melt and drizzle on top. Mini chocolate chips and caramel sundae syrup. I just thought this was easy because you could squeeze it out on top, but you can also get um, and the jar kind or melt your own caramel chips, anything you want. Caramel, caramel, how do you say it? All right, moving on. So, like I said, the first step is to cut up your apples. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. All right, so now that we have our apples all sliced up and I line them up in the tray just like this. So depending on how many people, you could change the number of apples. Um, so I ended up only cutting one and a half just to fan this tray. So it looks like this, oops. And now let's move on to the next step. So the next step is going to be to melt our, our white chocolate wafer. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions on this. So it's about 30 seconds in the microwave, stir, and then um, another 30 seconds if it's not completely melted. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So now I have melted the white chocolate and now I'm gonna take this and drizzle it all over our nachos. Are you ready? drizzle a little caramel on top. So we're gonna do that now. So if you wanna check it out. Woo! Cool, I think that's enough. That's what it looks like so far. And then our last step is to top it off with mini chocolate chips. All right, so I'm gonna take a handful of these, just like so. And I'm gonna show everyone. I'm just sprinkling them on top. How delicious does that look? Incredible. I'll show you a close up. Okay, so now that our super yummy treat is all done and finished, you can eat it right away. You can put it in the fridge and let it chill, just like how when you buy a caramel apple at the candy store, it's usually in a refrigerator or whatever you want. And that's basically it, super easy and super delicious. What a great dessert. Uh, I can't wait to try this, I'm so excited. Like I always say, if you have any suggestions on snacks we should make together or anything, please let me know and I hope you guys try this and let me know how it is. Thanks for tuning in, all my friends. I can't wait to see you next week for Super Snack Time with C. That's me, bye everyone.